Yeah, hi, this is Scott from Pilates Night to One, and I'm here with Lisa, and we're kind of here to help you answer one of the most common questions that we have. You know, people will come to our website, they'll come in, and they'll say, oh, maybe I've tried Pilates, and what their experience is, is doing it at a, maybe a gym or on a cruise, and it's basically mat Pilates, and they see the equipment, and they say, God, what's a reformer, and how it's different? And we really think the best way to answer that question is really not talk about it, but really show you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through with Lisa some of the very basic exercises that we start with performer work. And performers are using springs as tension. They actually help you do the work and they give you resistance both depending on what you do. So uh, if you're ready to go Lisa, we'll do what's called a little footwork. I'll just have you lay down and we'll just start in first position with the toes on bar and she's just going to stabilize her, her midsection and just go. And she's in and out. So what this is doing, wonderful set of exercises, the spring tension, what it's doing is it's working her quadriceps, working its glutes, working her abs, everything. So this is really a full body exercise all the way up. Make sure you finish, good, 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 nice. And keep going, and now we can do this in every position. So just for short, here's one that I know a lot of you are interested in. Let's go ahead and put the heels on the bar. So now when we press from the heels, squeeze the glutes, now you're coming right from the glutes, yes? Okay, and that's where it all goes. So we work the leg from every angle on this, along with the core, along with the midsection, quads, glutes, hamstrings, and just really get you a great looking, perfect set of legs here. Okay, so that's an example of footwork. And then the next one is uh, more work for those same areas, is just feet in the straps. So if we'll set up, we'll put our feet in the straps. And just have her tighten up. Same thing, core stability, pelvic stability. Now bend the knees, bring it in, and look at that. Just perfectly working the glutes and the quadriceps as well. Now if I ask her to turn the toes out and bend the knees, now let the knees come apart, and then she squeezes forward, wonderful, right into the middle inner thighs. And I know we're wanting to work that as well. Yes? Okay, so you feeling that yet? Yep. Very good, very good. Okay, and we'll just do one more. So now let's keep the feet, let's keep the knees straight and just what's called lift and lower. So now it's a beautiful stretch in the back of the legs and also work in the glutes. And one of the most wonderful things about Pilates reformer work, if I can get around the camera here, <laughs> get around the legs, one of the most wonderful things about this work is it's not only stretching, but it's stretching as the muscles are working. So we can see the reformer is working her legs and her core in both directions. Okay, nice. So let's come on out. So that's just a couple quick things we show you. So as we let her go, if you've ever done mat Pilates, you ask what's the difference. Go ahead and take the hands. Most classic exercise in Pilates, other than maybe the teaser is the hundred. So we'll get her to do the hundred as we fade out and go away. So here she's going to inhale for five and exhale for five. Now another great, great exercise. Abdominals, stabilizing the shoulders. And you can see Lisa has wonderful form. Nice in the neck, perfectly tight here. So now compared to the mat, we have the straps, giving her more resistance on her abs. So we'll just let her finish that. And again, this is Scott and with Lisa from Pilates 1901. And we hope to see you in the studio and we'll give you uh, some introductions and see more about Pilates and what all this equipment stuff's all about. So thanks.